What's up, fishing folks? Welcome back to God with the GoPro Fishing Show. Birthday edition. Morning bite session. Uh, man, what can I say? I was going to go up to Ohio today and fish. Um, I took the day off work. It's my birthday. I turned 46. Yeah. I'm like a classic car. I'm, I'm a... Yeah. I'm a 67 Camaro SS or something, something cool, but uh, man, thank God I stuck to my home waters because the mighty can all bless me with a decent little sauger, and I was torn between throwing on the Tokyo rig and the pit boss or throwing on a tube, and thank God I tied on that tube. Cause I got me a nice small mouth. So. I will be back out. To fish the evening bite. Um, Man that water's cold. Cause uh. That fish got it. Not down in the gullet. But just out of reach of my fingers. And I left my backpack and everything in the truck. So I had to. You, you guys will see. But when I. I had her on my thumb and I, I let the current run through her gills and get her breathing again. And as soon as I felt her start wiggling, I let her off. But man, my, my fingers are still trying to warm back up. That water is cold. So I'm gonna, later on tonight, I'm gonna throw the Alabama rig and some big swim baits and break out, maybe even break out the uh, Dobbins Fury seven foot nine. Throw the big, big wires and big, big glide baits I might even crack out the uh, Arashi glide because I've had it for a year now and I haven't even opened it yet so um, other than that man morning bite was decent so uh, check it out let's try the old grub single tail grub one of the often overlooked secret weapons of cold water fishing this thing can be a destroyer people overlook it like it's too simple or they're too cool to throw it whatever I mean that's horse crap these things catch fish man to somebody's line. What the heck is that? I don't What did I just get done saying, man? These freaking grubs catch fish, dude. Just got done saying that. Don't ever be too cool to throw the single tail grub, especially in the winter. 
Hey, little boy, little boy. Thank you, Mr. Man. You look real similar to the sauger I caught yesterday. Dutney. Might even be the same fish, who knows. I respect your tenacity. Well, how many times did I throw the dang uh, zoom, uh, what's that called? Uh, super speed crawl, full size one. No. I must have threw that over there about six times. He didn't want nothing to do with it. I threw this over there a couple times, hopping it. Didn't want nothing to do with it. But as soon as he saw that tail going on, just a steady retrieve, he cracked it. And I cracked him. The more I use this uh, Gerald Swindle signature rod, the more I like it. Um, might even be like my dedicated walleye rod this year. Uh, this reel was actually given to me by my neighbor. Uh, it's the second Lose Xfinity that I have. Uh, I like them. They're they're a good 3,000 size reel for the price. Uh, I actually um, when my neighbor gave it to me, the handle was it looked like a dog had chewed it off. So I emailed Luz, explained to him the story, asked asked him, you know, can I have a part number so I can just buy it here's my credit card number they said nah we, we're not going to charge you we're going to send you the handle i said well dang that uh you guys just earned some customer service points in my book you know so that was pretty cool we used to do that um, I, I put on the Daiwa J Braid 15 pound and Island Blue. I, I got 10 pound liter of, I think this is either Invisex or the P line fluorocarbon. Alright, guys, so I put on some new liter. I am throwing Invisex. And I put on a bat, baby bass fluke because I want to be a better fluke fisherman. And I also put on a tube. And the theme being both our natural color. So let's see if we can get us a fluke fish here. And I'm, I rigged it up a little different. Uh, I seen Tim Little using these hooks that I use on my toads for top water and it's just a screw lock a owner screw lock but it doesn't got a huge bend in it I'll show you that's all it is it's the same hook that I use for my toads and uh, it's just got that different J in it so you can rig it up on now it is a little exposed your hook point but not to the point of where it's gonna be getting hung on everything sink a little bit 
One, two, three, four, five. You know, we can walk in the back and target some large mice, but with this cold front, I'd really be surprised if they bite. Dang it! Dude. I'm either getting hung up on the same thing or something is bite. So, I felt like something cracked it. Let's let, let me drag the tube around and see if it's that same sauger or hopefully there's a small mouth in the neck of the woods. I didn't see any bite marks on the dang fluke. Just a natural colored tube. Cut it down, short and stubby. We all know how smallmouth like short and stubby. Now I usually don't throw tubes on this rod, but I wanted to crack it a little bit. That's a small mouth right there, guys. Yeah! The birthday small mouth. Woo! All right. All right. Freaking tube, man. What a beautiful species. Buddy, I can't see where you're... Oh. Alright, we gotta go over to the truck. Hold on, little boy. Pretty cool though, man. You see that dude come jumping out of the water? I'm sorry, little boy. I'll get you back in the water as soon as I can. Oh, I know it. I know it. It's all crazy. Hold on, bud. Hold on, bud. I'm your biggest fan. I'm your biggest fan. See? See, buddy? I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying, little boy. You're a tubby guy, aren't you? You've been eating good. You've been eating good. Here, we'll walk over. Get you back in the water. As soon as I take this picture here. All right. Sorry about the uh, 
taking forever with the dang, getting the dang hook out, dude. You know I'm gonna let you go nice and easy. Make sure you're okay. Ready? There you go. Yeah! Woo! All right, guys. Well, that's it for the morning session. Um, I will be going back out today later for the evening bite. Um, of course, it stopped raining and the sun's trying to peek out, so hopefully uh, it stays dry and warms up a little bit today. I think the high is only going to be about 45 degrees, but <clears throat> excuse me, I'll be back out there. Um, I didn't take the day off for no reason. I'm missing out on money, but money's not everything. It's interacting with nature and uh, sharing my experience with the subscriber squad and any newcomers that want to come aboard. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Don't if you don't. Ring that notification bell so you know when I upload another episode. Um, please think about sharing it on any social media platform video streaming service I don't care I'm also on bitshoot.com backslash guy with the GoPro fishing show I'm slowly moving episodes over there and I'm also on odyssey.com which used to be library um, I think it's just odyssey.com at guy with the GoPro fishing show so until next time guys, this is Brian from God with the GoPro Fishing Show. Out for now. But just for now.